For these tutorials, we've been tracking the efforts of a hypothetical scenario where a person responsible for search marketing at one and one Internet is researching GoDaddy with the intent of improving their PPC results. So let's pull up iSpionage and take a quick look at GoDaddy's information. And while we do this, we will see what sort of landing page insights iSpionage can help us discover. We'll also look at the top five most important aspects of successful landing pages in general. One of the primary benefits of iSpionage is the ability to quickly review landing pages connected to your competition's top performing ads. The logic for reviewing landing pages is essentially the same as it is for reviewing ads. As you can see here, it is simple to scan the Google AdWords ads and review the landing pages associated with each. By default, the system sorts the ads in descending order of AEI, or Ad Effectiveness Index, so the best ads should be at the top. Looking at the iSpionage site, we can see that all the top AEI ads are here at the top, and right next to them is a link to the landing page associated with each ad. Insights are literally just one click away. But besides the Ad Effectiveness Index, what are the other indicators of a good landing page? Let's take a look at a few and talk through some of the more important criteria of a successful landing page. So considering this GoDaddy ad here with the AEI of 89, we can see here the link to the landing page. And if we click it, we'll see that the most prominent wording on the page written out here is the headline. Popular opinion is that uh, headlines for landing pages should be short. 15 to 20 words max. It's also fairly well understood common practice that you should use text rather than a graphic in the header. As you can see here by clicking on the headline copy within this landing page, it is text and not a graphic, so that's good. By using text in your H1 header copy, you can ensure that your ad is well aligned with your ad copy and your keywords. And if we hop back here to iSpinage, we can see that GoDaddy has good alignment for the term personalized email across their keyword, ad, and landing page. Now looking at the copy, the best guidance for copy on search marketing landing pages is to keep it simple. Less is more when it comes to copy on landing pages. Get to your point as soon as possible as to what you are offering, what the searcher gets, and why you what you are offering matters and call it a day you only have about five seconds to impress your visitor so tight short punchy copy is really better than using longer sentences and as you can see from this GoDaddy landing page there's very little copy most of that's what's there has been laid out in table format with short feature and benefit focused copy throughout uh, this design is very purposeful it allows users to scan the site quickly for the decision criteria that matters most to them. Again, less is more when it comes to copy on landing pages. Another important element of most landing pages is the form. Certainly, less is more when it comes to the information you request from your visitors. Here with GoDaddy, since the purchase amounts are very reasonable, their conversions are focused on driving purchases rather than simply collecting a name and email address. So they're less form driven. So let's start with a more typical example. I'm going to go ahead and go uh, back to the iSpionage search and type in retargeter.com, a retargeting uh, company here in the search marketing space. And if we scroll down to their ads, we can see here at the top, uh, AEI of 85 also, a uh, e-commerce retargeting ad for cart abandonment keyword. And if I click on the uh, URL here, notice the strong headline, the very efficient delivery of what the service does through use of this graphic. Three copy blocks that answer the how it works, how it helps, and why it's right for the site visitor. But take a look at the form. Four fields, no asterisk, to make anyone feel uncomfortable, and the all-important, we will not sell your email address promise. Generally speaking, it's a good idea for the email address and name to be uh, requested, but if you go beyond these, it's really best to make 
those other fields uh, optional. It turns out that conversions are actually higher when you end up getting and you end up getting better results if you do not flag some form fields as required and others as optional. Recent research indicates that if you use like an asterisk to indicate that some fields are required while others are optional, it makes users feel uh, uncomfortable uh, and conversions suffer. So it's best to leave forms looking like this uh, where all the forms appear to be optional, even if some are required. Typically, a higher percentage of people will fill out the form and fill it out more completely. So in addition to a compelling headline and body copy that can be skimmed easily, and a form that uh, collects information without uh, making you feel uncomfortable, uh, and collects a, a, the minimum amount of information really to meet your business objectives, uh, navigation is also an important element of a landing page. So anything that distracts from supporting and delivering the message should be removed. You want us to create a single path to conversion and not leave anything extra on the page to take the focus away from submitting the information in the form. More often than not, there is no reason for leaving the top header uh, navigation bar in place on a landing page. Really every link that does not take a user closer to the conversion should really be scrutinized and the unnecessary ones removed. So lastly, the button. The call to action, as it's called often, should really be written from an action-oriented uh, standpoint and accurately describe what will happen when the user clicks it. If they're subscribing to your information, use the word subscribe. If they're, you're taking them to a video, watch now would be appropriate. We hope that by reviewing these GoDaddy and Retargeter examples, and by reviewing a few landing page core concepts, we've given you a deeper understanding of how iSpionage can be helpful in delivering landing page insights and helping you improve your own search marketing results.